Hey everyone, Matt here from Docs Running, and today we're going to do a full review of the Ultra Mont Blanc Carbon. So this is one of Ultra's first plated semi-super shoe racing shoes that's come out on the market. It's an evolution of the Mont Blanc that came out some time ago, and it took kind of everything that people liked and tried to add some more super elements, including a Carbotex plate and Ultra Eagle Pro in the midsole, which we've been told is Peabot. It doesn't necessarily feel exactly like that, but we'll talk about how that does add some benefit and this midsole does do its job in certain areas. So it's a very expensive shoe coming in at 260. I've gotten a lot of miles on this. I've done a long run on trails. I've done a trail tempo and some fart like stuff. Some of this on a little bit on road just to test it out, but most of this on trail. Does it feel fast? It can, but it's really big purpose is a ultra marathon distance shoe. It, it's namesake is kind of what this is meant for. So is this shoe gonna work for you? Let's talk about some of the elements about it and who it might work for and who it might not. So let's talk first about with specs. So I don't have this official weights. My size 10 weighs in at 9.6 ounces for men's size nine, women's size 10 and a half or 272 grams. The stack guide I do have, it's 29 millimeters in the heel, 29 in the forefoot for a zero millimeter drop. As I said, there is a Carbotex plate in the midsole and it does actually have some flexibility to it so it's not the stiffest thing on the market it i really only feel it when i pick up the pace in this shoe when you're running easy there's still some flexibility which feels nice when you're doing longer longer distance stuff the midsole again ultra ego pro doesn't feel crazy when i'm running at an easy pace it what i have noticed it just feels good over really long distances like i feel like i can just keep going it feels like my legs aren't getting as tired which is kind of what these foams do they extend stuff out I really only get that super shoe feel when I picked up the pace on flat or on downhill. When I'm going downhill and I really slam and compress the foam, then I feel that bounce. Going uphill, I don't really feel it. Part of that's the slightly long fit potentially that I'll talk about in a second. But it just feels like a good foam that feels good over longer distances. As I've said, if you're looking for the snappiest, bounciest thing for shorter distance stuff, this might not be it for you unless you really want a zero drop, jail drop and anatomic fit. But for longer distance stuff, if those things match, this is actually going to be a really, really good option because it is definitely a shoe that feels like it can keep going and it's also really versatile meaning it changes its function depending on what you want to do you want to go fast it responds well you want to keep got a like consistent slower pace it actually responds pretty well to that so a couple different hats it can wear which is a good thing now traction wise and durability it's actually been pretty good most of my miles have been on trail the few road miles i've done have torn through the exposed ultra ego pro but thank goodness that's not the only thing on the outsole the vibram outsole has really lasted quite well over almost 40 miles that I have on this shoe. The grip is fairly average. It's not like it's meant for super duper technical terrain, but it's also got a decent amount of grip as well. We've had a lot of rain here in Southern California, especially in Monrovia, and I haven't really slipped at all. When I've gotten into deep mud, obviously most shoes have trouble with that. So majority surfaces, gravel, dirt, even some road, this thing can handle, but it's just not going to be able to handle the extremes in terms of like deep mud and things like that. So most traditional surfaces it will be fine on going to the upper that's where things get a little bit more interesting i should say so some people complained about how the ultramont blanc the original one had some heel slippage it still has that i've had to really lace lock and lock this shoe down to get a secure fit and part of that's also the shoe feels like it fits about a half size long almost so when i warm up in this shoe the first couple of miles i'm like god this is like clunky it doesn't really feel great towing off when my feet finally swell after longer miles that's when it actually feels good so the longer you go the better it feels very similar fit by the way if you like the ultra tint 5 it fits almost exactly the same with the wider heel there isn't really much of a heel counter here so it's nice and flexible if you're sensitive to that there's a i guess there's a tiny one back there that i forgot about plus i really like this if those of you that use gaiters this this feels great and can lock that down but again anatomic fit it's supposed to be that more slim foot it doesn't really feel like that it just feels a little bit long to me so if you want a shorter distance shoe and you like all these features maybe consider going a half size down and wearing some thinner socks but for most of you going longer distances stay true to size because you're going to swell into this and you'll appreciate this later in the miles so overall i think it's best as an ultra marathon shoe and you're going to get a lot of miles out of it which is great so if this it's it's unique shoe so there may be some justification for the 260 price tag i think that's a little bit higher than it needs to be i'd like to see a more responsive foam i'd like to see a little bit higher stack height but there's a lot of things that make this very unique having a slightly more flexible plate having an anatomic zero drop midsole and a and a decent amount of foam underfoot to be able to handle really long distances it it is good so if this is something you're looking for it might be worth it for you for me there's a couple other shoes in the market that's competing with it's on the lower weight uh lower end weight wise but it's still done a good job so if some of these things interest you 
this may be something to take a look at. I'll do a comparison review with a couple other of the trail super shoes out there to help you make an even better decision. But hope that helped you figure this out. It's an interesting shoe. I'm going to keep getting miles in it. And I'll check back when I get even more.